You, you ordered at 2 o'clock in the morning? That Now that is some dedication right there. All right, let me straighten this out. This phone is significantly heavier, heavier than my other phones. Okay. I'm okay, if for any reason you can't hear me, let me know. I do have the microphone, so I think you should be good. Oh, no worries, Kathleen. I'll be here when you have time. Okay, so I'm going to put... Hold on. I just want to do... One more little rearranging. Soon I'll be I'll start with the new um the new stuff, but I figured there's no point in using it yet. Most people aren't ordering it. We're still in Christmas mode, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I have my pieces. So if you're making this, you're gonna start with a base that's four and a quarter by five and a half. You are going to need, I did find this idea on someone's Pinterest page, so I'll share that once I relocate it. Then you're going to need another piece that measures nine and three quarters by four and a quarter, and you're going to score this at three and a quarter and six and a half. So I have two of these, so we're going to attempt to make two cards out of the same base supplies. Then we're going to cut, and let me just make sure I have this right. We're going to cut a piece of DSP that's going to measure five and a quarter by four. So I'm just going to go with the four since I'm here. Four by five and a quarter. And I also need, let's see, I need some for the inside. That's going to be four by three. What is this? Four by three. That's going to be for inside panel. And if I want to do, I think I'm going to, I'm going to switch this up just a little bit. I want to grab some, you know, I was going to grab smoky slate, but I kind of wonder if that'll look good or not. So instead, I think I'm going to go with Sahara sand. So I'm going to grab a piece of that. Oh, wouldn't that be great if this piece measured the right, but it probably won't. Four. Oh, this one might. I'm going to use this piece. Now, I know this is retired, but I think it might look cool in there. Anyway, this was that basket weave that we had last spring. So this is already embossed, so I'm just doing a little saving here. So I'm going to, this is four. It's almost four. Hold on, four. And I will put all the measurements for all this stuff on my blog post once I'm done. Four by two. That looks a little thin, but we'll see how that works. Um, I'm going to do one more piece of the DSP for the front. Let's see. So that's the base layer. I'm going to do one more piece at four by three. So this is four, correct? Yes, by three. And we'll kind of see what we're going to do from here. So there's that. This one was the extra. And this was my other piece. You could also, if you wanted to, add in a few strips you could even use a little bit of this on the other side, but I want to look because I know this has some really beautiful paper. There it is. That's the great part. This um, In Good Taste DSP has some really great textures to it. This would even look cool. So I have a little, I'm going to bring this out. Might use a little bit of that as our contrast instead of the wood. So I'm going to cut this at four. And so what do we do? Four by three. And then I'm going to measure out just a couple half inch pieces. One. I'm going to use those, and I'm going to save this just in case. Okay, so one other thing we're going to need is just a scrap of Whisper White. And this one is where we're going to do our sentiment. So what we're going to do, I think I'm going to go with just Jade to kind of stay on the same color scheme, at least to keep the card some cohesion. So this is going to be what we're going to cut out for our sentiment. 
So this is, I know, a little playful, but you could do happy birthday on the front, or you could even do one of these really nice sentiments. No amount of money could ever show how much I love you, but here's some anyway. Happy birthday. I think that's really cute. Maybe we'll do something silly. We also, you could make this in the congratulations. Another one that I really, really like is this one. So I think I'm going to use this one because it's kind of pretty, so it should go with the pretty theme of this card. So happiness today and always. I know you could technically say this is a wedding, but I think it's also, I could use it as a birthday. So we're going to do birthday for this. You could also even make some thank you cards if you needed to and just omit the gift card portion of this because you can. So let me make sure I can see what everybody's saying. I don't want to. There we go. Karen. Hey, Karen. Hope you're doing well. All right. So I'm going to stamp my sentiment. That looks nice. And, oh, you know what? Maybe we can use this. Let me, hold on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me think. I'm going to do this. I'm going to christen my little baby. Let's try it. Let's see. It should fit, right? It says place die cutting edge down. So that one's going to be the one that gets all bonkied up. You know what here? This is one thing where you need to remember is all your paper is going to have to be a little slimmer. That will work. So we'll put this in sideways. Now granted, I got to remember this isn't magnetic. So I do need to put a little piece of purple tape. Looks pretty straight. So put this, I probably should turn this around because I am not left-handed. And let's see. Okay. Ooh. Mmm, so handy. I you know that sounds totally ridiculous, but it is pretty handy because it's just the perfect size to keep on your desk. Now, this one from now on will be my cutting one because I try to keep one as cutting and I try to keep one as clean. So, there will be that. Let's see what this looks like. Let me scoot this in. It's easier for me if I do it that way. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to put this, for the most part, together. So, I'm going to grab my liquid glue. Hopefully it's wanting to cooperate with me. If not, I have a freshie. I think this one might be. My glue is like, you don't use me anymore. I don't love you. Here we go. I got one. Ready on standby. Speaking of, just thinking of the whole tipsy uh, anybody know how Lisa's doing? I haven't been on Facebook much because it's kind of hard just with being busy. But hopefully her and John and Dominic are having a very merry beginning of their Christmas. So I already scored this ahead of time. So I'm going to go ahead and just fold this. And it should hopefully match up nicely. Again, I, I scored this at three and a quarter and six and a half. Let's see. Oh, I did a good job. Could use maybe a tiny trim. Let's see. Yep, you know what? You're going to score. You're going to find that one goes in better than the other. Okay, so we have our little place here. This is going to go in here. This will be for our sentiment. Now, if you want this to be, um, so you have equal on all sides you could certainly trim off another quarter inch but this does measure four by three so you could do three and three quarters by three if you wanted to i'm going to put i'm just going to stick with the same thing let's see what did i say put some confetti we'll say this calls for confetti because that's fun we'll do that and we'll do this little crazy triangle one and i'm just going to do the same thing so I'm going to just keep it in jade 
for all of these. Is that going to fit? Yep, close enough. And thank you for sharing, everybody that has. I do appreciate that. Thank you so much for doing it. Helps the people that haven't been able to find me in a while because, you know, I haven't been on here. I don't know what I've been doing. Being a slacker. This calls for confetti. And then you can go ahead and stamp your little crazy pieces all over. You have some extra confetti. It kind of fits. It's a pretty fun confetti because it really fits nicely to to itself, if that makes sense. It, it fits into itself well. I know that probably makes absolutely no sense, but hopefully you know what I'm talking about. So there we have that. Let me move this over. Put this back. So this is going to go inside. I'm just going to put a little glue here. And kind of line that up. The nice part about the liquid glue is if you need to wiggle it out of the way a little bit, you can. Okay. So this will be where our gift card holder will go. So let me see. This is about the size of a gift card. So, okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, because I do like to make sure, and this has a smudge. I'm going to use the other side. I do like to make sure that my, man, that paper looks crooked. Hold on one second. Cause I think I goobered this up. This does not look straight. Yep. That's definitely not straight. I must've cut that on the run. Try that again. Um, I like to make sure that my gift card holder folder pocket, whatever you want to call this, stays in. So I'm actually going to put a little bit of tear and tape here and here. And then I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom. You don't have to do this. You could probably use stamp and seal if you want to. By the way, I don't know if anybody caught on the clearance rack. The snail was there for a hot minute. That went fast. Still not used to the stamp and seal, quite honestly. I like liquid glue the best. But, you know, what are you going to do? I finally ran through all my fast fuse. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and place this down. Oops, make sure it fits. I'm gonna, oh, before you do that, if you want to, I don't have one handy here, or I would do it, but you might wanna notch this with a punch of some sort. I don't have a punch of some sort close enough, and I don't wanna disconnect from my microphone. So put this here, kind of making sure that's kind of straight. I'm gonna slide this in. Now, I probably, <laughs> Should have evaluated my tear and tape placement prior to putting this in because this is going to be hard to get in just because of the size of this. So I'm going to just take a little bit of liberty so I can show you what I mean. And I'm going to just trim it down just the smidgy. I'm sure Lisa won't mind because I did not estimate my gift card size correctly or my gift cards aren't up here more likely. So we'll say there's that. Now, if you want to, you could add a little bit of something. You could add a piece of this to it. You could add lots of other things to it. But we're going to add something else to this top portion here. Okay, so this is going to go in. This is going to come down. So I did have this little piece we could put on the front. And remember, I was actually going to use this for my gift card thing, and I forgot. We could actually cover it with that because that would kind of look a little bit fancier. So I think I'm going to add that to it. This is the piece I cut originally for it. I think I just forgot. Remember, you could use the debossed or the embossed side. Just depends. We'll just lay this over, make it look a little bit nicer, a little bit fancier. That is just a little scrap piece of embossed. I will say one thing. If you do this, I would definitely cut yourself a little notch. Don't be like me. Cut a notch with your punch or something. You only want to punch one at a time. We have that. You could add some DSP here. You could add, I think I'm going to add mine to the front here instead. And then what I'll do is I'll add my little strips. That's going to be too much though, because I have all these different textures going on. 
Mm, that would look cute too. Look like a little wallet. Yeah, this looks cute. I'm going to add this on there too. It's kind of like such a nice soft and cozy thing. You feel like you can just add more to it. Nice. It's like a little wallet. Isn't that cute? That actually looks really nice together. So if you happen to have that folder, I feel like it was called Basket Weave Mat. I don't know. If anybody knows, pop that on there. All right. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to stick with this. We have this. Maybe I got to add something else. Maybe I might have to trim this down and add. Feels like it needs something else, doesn't it? What's it need? I think it needs like a happy birthday. But this one that I grabbed is kind of crazy for that kind of a card. But we might just have to go with it because I goofed up. We're going to have to, I'm just going to have to own this crazy happy birthday on this really pretty card. And I'm going to just say right now, I'm sorry if you don't like it. I'm sorry ahead of time. I think I'm going to add in, because I'm going to add this to the front just to break up the monotony of the same paper. So I think I'm going to go with a little bit something darker. Maybe we will do just a little hint of basic gray. Hopefully this will work out. We'll see. You could certainly go with a nicer fonted happy birthday if you wanted to. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut this with something else. I'm going to grab one other thing out of here. Oh, you know how I'm going to fancy it up? I'm going to give it scalloped edges. That'll make it fancier. So I'm going to bring my little baby boo-boo in here one more time. Move this out of the way. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to pop this on. I probably did not need to cut it in the middle there. I probably could have saved some paper, but hindsight is 2020. 2020 stinks, so there's my hindsight. I think that should be our new saying, right? We shouldn't be saying hindsight is 2020 anymore because that's almost like a bad word. <laughs> All right, so pop this through. There we go. That looks very nice. 2020 is like the new curse word, isn't it? Ugh. You think of something you don't like. Oh, that's a bunch of 2020. That sounds about right, right? Okay. Hey, Carol. Thanks for stopping in. All right. So I'm going to pop this up on some dimensionals. We're going to add this in. We're going to add that in. And I think we're going to wrap this one up. And then we will do our Christmas version, which will be probably a little bit nicer because I have a couple Christmas things. And then I want to show you the one other thing I had the cutest idea of. I just did not have the time to bring it to fruition early enough. So we're going to put this on here. So this kind of looks like a very kid at heart card. And then when you get to the inside, you're like, no, but it's a grown up card. Okay, looks pretty well centered. And then I'm going to put a good amount of glue. And I did notice I have probably did not, man, my cutting is just not, I need to get, I need to make more cards. You know what? While we're off on vacation for the holiday, I should be able to go live at least once, maybe even twice on a Wednesday morning. That will be fun, right? I'm just going to glue this down. So I'm going to give that one second. Just hold it in place. Make sure it sticks. Oh, that's awesome. You did the, oh, Marlene, she's already gone. She did the gift card holders. That's really cool. Okay, so here you go. So you have like a little trifold. You could certainly add a little something in here if you wanted to add a little strip of whatever the case may be, some sort of DSP. You could even put in this little piece we cut off just to have a little cohesion. And then you could write your note in there. If you wanted to add more space for a note, you could certainly add another one in there. Now, one thing about this, it isn't going to be able to stand up 
in a traditional way because it doesn't have a back to it. But I still think it's really, really cute. Definitely a good place for your gift card, cash, whatever it is you want to stick in there. And this will still fit in, an, in a regular um, sized envelope. You may, because of the front, you might need a little extra, one extra postage stamp. But you could add it or not because, you know, the way postage is going these days, it might get there sometime before the end of 2021. All right, so this is number one. So for our second card, I'm going to, what did I say I wanted to use? I'm going to use the poinsettia, or poinsettia, depending on which way you like to pronounce it. And this one, you could even use this side, and it could be a really pretty non-Christmas card. So I think we might use these two. Maybe we'll use a little bit of this, a little bit of this, and a little bit of this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this down. This is the very end of my DSP. So at least I did use some of my DSP. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. We'll use the point set apart. If you didn't catch it, um, my friend Christine shared... This is still six inches. That's what I'm just checking here. She shared a beautiful... She sent me a beautiful card with the point set up dies which that is carrying over just not the paper so we have this so let me take a peek at this before i get out of control so we'll have this then we're going to have our base piece i'm just going to fold this in so i can see okay so we'll have that there's my other piece that i wanted to use I almost feel like if I did that, it's going to be too much. That's kind of dark. So it kind of make it too, a little too soft and fluffy. Wrong color. Still, that's kind of more like mint. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this is... I'm going to grab one more piece... Because this one has a lot of texture. Because I have all of my in good taste stuff right here. You know, I think even this would work kind of nicely. I think I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go back to the other side of that paper. As a matter of fact, I think I have a piece that might just work. Because it'll kind of be, and then we can add some, of the, some more of the poinsettia to the inside. So, let's see. We have... Use the other side of that. Three. And I'm going to trim this one down. So this one I'm going to make it so it's got a little bit nicer of a layer. So three and three quarters by four. I'm also going to do that for that inside piece I was telling you about. So three and three quarters by three should match that nicely. We have another little piece here that we could use. We have this. What is this measuring? Four. I'm going to trim these into a couple little half inch strips. Hi, Debbie. Thank you for joining. Nice to see everybody here. I have missed you all. I will tell you that. We did have fun last week going to, uh, goodness, where were we? Cabela's. That was pretty fun. And I'm going to cut one more of these down just for the heck of it. Mm, go with four. Should be actually probably use this for two of them because it's four by six and then we'll have three by three. We'll be able to put this one, two of them. And then maybe I'm going to add in just for a little bit of prettiness. I have a piece here already here. So maybe we'll add just a little bit. This is the gold. I think that's the gold. Yeah, the gold, brushed gold. Okay, so we're going to put this together. So let me grab all my little pieces here that I have here. A couple little extras just in case. And I am going to, I think I'm going to go with, mm, I'm 
sorry, I'm lost in thought. I'm going to do this one because I think this is a really nice sentiment. Let's see if it'll fit on here. And even though it has a lot of like a scripty font to it, I'm going to attempt to make it so it looks very classy. So it's not really, people aren't thinking necessarily immediately of the Grinch. Oh my gosh, do you believe what I just did? What a dingling I am. This is the one I had for that other card. And here I am fretting that I can't find what I wanted to do with it. My goodness. All I'm going to say is, a dumb, dumb, dummy. This is the one I wanted to put on here anyway. Did I totally forget? Because that looks way better than that crazy happy birthday. So look, I'm going to just do this. It's going to be popped up. This is going to be my base. Somebody needs to take me on a vacation and just leave me there. Because clearly my brain is not working. Oops. I just want to make sure that's nicely centered. Gosh. It's nice when something comes together, but it's even better when you remember it the first time, right? Jiminy Christmas. <laughs> that looks so much better, doesn't it? Looks much more grown up now. Goes together a lot, a lot nicer. LOL. Thank you for that. That's... <laughs> oh my gosh. As a matter of fact, my, um, the teacher in my classroom, that's what she said, that she wanted for vacation. I mean, wanted for Christmas was a vacation. I'm thinking, gosh, now I can't send her on a vacation. That, I don't want her to be sad when I can't send her on one. So to kind of bring this down a notch, I'm actually going to do it in soft suede. So I'm inking this in soft suede, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab my Just Jade marker. Okay. So very carefully, you could do this a different way. You could mask it first. I'm going to just wipe it off with my finger. I'm doing this with the little holly and the berries. And then I'm going to come in with my Just Jade marker. My Just Jack. That's what I think of every time I see this color. Okay. And then I'm just going to exhale on this. And I'm going to stamp it. And I'm going to give that a second. Because I do have a mat underneath of this. But when you do photopolymer, you kind of want to give it a minute for the ink to fully transfer off of your stamp. All, oh my gosh. All I want for Christmas is for COVID to go away. I think that's probably what almost everybody wants. Now just to b bring just a teeny bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cherry cobbler. And I'm just going to do the berries. Just kind of, I don't want to say I'm filling them in because I'm kind of going over top. You could probably use red instead. This is a little bit dark, but I kind of wanted this to be a little bit more of a, I hate to say grown up -y because I'm not a grown up, but you know what I mean. A, a little bit more serious card. Then I'm going to take just my blender pen and I'm just slightly bringing the edges of that Just Jade to just fill in the inside of those leaves. Just a teeny, teeny bit. A teeny teeny bit it's really pretty so up close it's very pretty so that's what we're gonna do I am gonna cut this out with that scallop um, sentiment and even better than that is I'm gonna actually remember to use it this time hopefully Let's see I'm gonna go and almost the coolest part about this, just the way it could just be the light in here, it almost makes it look like a little bit of a gold. It kind of reminds me of that, uh, that, whatever that gold ink was. Do you remember that we had last year and then it just vanished? So it's going to be close, but I'm going to try. And then what I'm going to do really quickly, because I don't think this is going to fit through, is I'm going to just trim it down. Just in case. So we have that ready. Okay, so there's that, there's this, and I'm going to keep this here because if not, I'm going to lose it and I'm not going to be able to show it to you. So let me run this back through. Man, this little uh, mini really came in handy today. Let's see if this is going to fit. Awesome, even better. So we'll pop this on. It's probably just the fact that I can't see very well and my eyes somehow I've magically made it made myself think it's gold even though it's not okay and 
Oops. Okay. All right. See, and even though that was kind of close, the stitching that's still in there and this is still in there. So it really turned out pretty well considering. I mean, that was really living on the edge there for a minute. And I'm not going to do Steven Tyler, even though I would like to. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this all together. So I have my base. So that's four by five and a quarter. And put my poinsettia paper. The one thing that sold out really, really fast was that, um, I don't know if it was the flocked vellum with the poinsettia. Did you guys like that? Because to me, that was like a total texture turnoff. I could not, I could not deal with that paper. I even just cutting it up for the shares gave me the heebie-jeebies. Which, speaking of, I will be doing shares just in case you came in late. I will be doing the shares again. So I'm going to do, we're going to just make this one really... Just point set overload, kind of bring it together. Oh, got a little crazy with my glue. It's okay. There's that one. And then I wanted my inside piece. This piece I may leave just for writing. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is cut my um, little pocket piece. So let's see. So we have this, this here. And you know, kind of with this, it almost looks like a repeating pattern because of the paper. So I'm going to keep this on the top too. I know that might be a lot, but it's going to partially get covered up with the sentiment when I actually remember to attach it, unlike the other card that I just fixed after the fact. So there's that. Hopefully this won't be too big. No, that looks really nice. Okay, let me grab my dimensionals. And don't go away because I have one more thing I want to share because I know people are like, I know it's winding down. It's wrapping up. I did say I was going to add a little bit of that gold and I do want to do that as well. But I want to show you one other thing super quick before we finish. Put this here. And I kind of find that I am better at putting these sentiments on before I attach it. I feel like I do a better job of getting it straight. And then just to do a little bit of breaking up. What did I want to do? What was I saying? I was saying this is a little too dark for that. Yeah. What did I say? Maybe I have to do just cream. So I'm going to add just this little bit. Be careful, if you get glue on your foil, it kind of remains like sticky and smudged. So try to make sure your fingers are clean when you're putting this part on. I'm just going to put something up here just to give it a little, just a little breakup of parts to kind of make it look prettier. But I still need to do something for my pocket. A foil pocket seems awfully expensive, but it might be pretty. And you know what? You can always get more, so I'm going to just go for it. So I have a piece of gold left. Let me cut this out. Slide this over. So, for, look, even this piece is crooked. Man, well, I must have been drinking when I cut this paper. Four, what did I say, by two. A joke. I never drink when I craft. I probably should, but that would be a whole nother story. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this, I'm going to actually use, and I have different ones. These are not Stampin' Up! This is um, Sukwang double-sided tape. You could also use uh, Be Creative tape. But it's going to just give me a little bit thinner of a edge. It's really, really good though, double-sided tape. Jennifer McGuire told me about this. Her and Donna and I are BFFs. She doesn't know it, but that's okay. <laughs> I do love Jennifer McGuire. If you've never watched her, she is extremely creative. Okay. So I'm going to put this here. This will be my little gift card holder. 
and hold on I have one more gift card since this one doesn't have as much glue yeah see that'll fit in there a little bit better and if you wanted to you can even add like a little bit of something to this you could add a little strip of your poinsettia DSP which if I had a piece handy that would probably be a good idea is this it look at that here we go I'm gonna put this one here I know oh Jennifer Diana she's your BFF too you know she has a lot of friends and she probably should tell us um, you know where to meet her the next time on vacation because I'd be happy to travel to the islands with her and her family and or you know what even when they go on vacation we could all just meet up in her craft room and we could craft I mean I think that sounds like a great idea so I just did this I know it's a teeny bit crooked don't judge this a little bit there looks very pretty and this and then I'm going to add, definitely make sure you use some really good adhesive. You don't want to skimp on the adhesive. I have a nice amount of liquid glue. What I like to do is set it down and kind of give it a wiggle because that kind of helps to smear it so you don't get those big gappy pieces. Okay. And then give it a nice press. You have plenty of place in there to write your room. You could stamp or write your room. Jeez a whiz. Write your greeting or you could stamp something if you wanted to. So here are these two. This looks much better with the grown up greeting. I really like this. I think this, and even with the sentiment, even though I know it's Grinchy, you know it's the Grinch, it's kind of like for kids, but I think it looks much more grown up here this way stamped, which is very good of me with my last minute idea. Okay, let me clean a couple things up because I want to show you one more little thing that I thought would make an absolutely adorable card. And it is the best way to spread Christmas cheer, singing loud for all to hear, which is course, of course from Elf. If you've never seen it, I love that movie. It's so funny. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna show you a whole thing, but you could do this even as a little tag, right, for Christmas. So let's go, let's play it as a tag. So what I'm gonna do, have a, just a piece of Whisper White, um, okay, first of all, if you still have Call Me Clover, this would be great because it's a, like a really bright green. Um, and I kind of think, I was thinking Pineapple Punch, but I think Bumblebee would work really well. So if you have Call Me Clover, you could use that. If you don't happen to have that, you could also go with Granny Apple Green. So I'm going to do Granny Apple Green. And here's what we're going to do. So I'm going to stamp this. Okay, hold on, I'm thinking of how I want to do this. So I'm stamping this. Okay, so we have that. Now, you don't really necessarily need the ink. We're gonna go with paper, okay? So follow me for a minute. So we're gonna do, gotta do a little measuring. I think that'll be good. So we're gonna cut a triangle, which, <laughs> I gotta tell you, I swear, I promise to you, I hope you all believe me, I am not purposefully advertising this mini. It, I swear, it just so happened it came today, and it's just working out timing-wise that I'm using it a lot. I am not one to sell something. You know me. I'm not a very good salesperson. Anybody that's in my stamp class can verify that 100%. So I'm going to use the third smallest right angle triangle I'm gonna cut that out in um bumblebee paper all right so i have that here now i did just grab a punch and lordy b i could have used this before i didn't realize it i grabbed a half inch circle punch i don't think we carry this anymore but if you have a half inch circle punch, it doesn't even have to be a half inch. It could be three quarters, it could be three eighths. Three eighths would be kind of small, never mind. But grab a circle punch and I just happen to have this. This is already stamped in Buffalo Check. You could do it with Buffalo Check or this just was the scrap piece of paper. So here's a Buffalo Check piece that I feel like we need like a little want, 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 want on his hat but oh, maybe we could do a couple pieces like this 
Let's see. Let's see. How many would we need? I'm going to do five. I'm going to try for five. Three. Four. Oh, I can almost get in there. Hold on. i got to get my scissors. So anyway, long story short, the other day I was in school. I know I wasn't even telling a story, so bear with me. But the other day I was in school and we have this super duper fancy laminator. And we also have this absolutely crazy looking, I almost want to say historic, um, it's not a die cutting machine in the sense of what we use, but it's like this humongous thing that you can put dies through. And, um, hold on, I'm trying to think here for a second. I'm going to cut two of these. This is the second smallest tall skinny triangle. I can't think what it's called right now. Anyway, so we have this super fabulous die cutting machine, which I'm always telling them if they can't find it because it's so big. We could cut so much stuff at the same time, guys. I'm not kidding you. But I'm always like, if you can't find it, I probably took it home, but it is super old. But anyway, so I'm in the die cutting room and I was laminating some stuff because they have an amazing laminator. And the music teacher has this little saying up there with the elf thing, with a picture, which is what I'm getting at with this whole thing. And I thought that would make the best card. And I kind of can't believe nobody thought of it yet. So maybe somebody did think of it and maybe I'm really behind the ball. The other one I thought of the other day was when I finally got the donkey and I thought you could make a Dominic the donkey card, a Christmas card, but Tammy White beat me to that. <laughs> Which is kind of ironically funny. We must just have the same uh, mindset. So I'm going to take my, my marker, my bumblebee marker, and I'm just going to go around the edge just to give it a little bit of depth. So that's for the hat. And I'm still, oops, wrong side. I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to do. I think I have to trim that down a little bit. With this yet, if it's going to be that you could make it into it, you probably could make it into an adorable little tag. If I do, though, I'm going to have to pause and grab my tag topper. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my mini glue dots. So I thought this would make a super fun little card. So I'm taking one of, and this again, just happened to have the Buffalo plaid. We'll put one of those. I'm gonna do some of these with glue dots. This one doesn't have any. So the ones that have no stamping, I'm just gonna put here. I think it needs to go up a little bit. Eh, might not be the right, I might've put that on the wrong side. You know what, I might have to put it on here it on the tip there that way I can put this kind of up so I'm just just thinking this idea out in my head but I thought about this when I was at the laminator and I was like gosh my stampin friends would love this card there's that one this needs to go this way okay and then I'm gonna put glue dots on here we'll see how many we need Of course, this one. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, of course, I have one that doesn't have the buffalo plaid. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start. Need more glue dots. Note to self. I'm going to start in the middle. And I want to put this here. Probably would look cuter if you had um, white. But do what you're going to do. There's that. And then this one, what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my snips and I'm going to kind of just round the edge of my triangle shoe. So I'm just kind of cutting off that bottom triangle or the bottom corner, I should say. There you go. That's cute. That looks elfy enough. All right, so I'm also going to put dimensionals because I think it would just look cuter if it's all popped up. So one, two, three. And what I probably should decide at this point is if I'm wanting to make this into a gift card, I probably need to trim this off. 
before I attach my feet. So I'm going to do, I'm going to unclip you for one second. So just pause and be right back. Now, hold on, please. If you really were going to do this, you would have wanted to put a little hole under here first so you could put some ribbon through it. So I'm going to add mine like in faux style. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this up. And this is just, of course, giving me a hard time because I didn't cut it evenly. And we'll go with two. Yeah, that's almost just a teeny bit too small. Let's go with a half. Okay. And, okay. It's a little bit wider. Probably could have planned it a smidge better if I would have not attached this yet. But we're going to do what we're going to do could even do this now it's going to be upside down let's see yep it's going to have to be upside down it's going to be an upside down tag okay one more one two Again, if I would have thought this out more, would have planned, obviously wouldn't have put my tag upside down because that's just silly. But is that not so cute? So one other thing you could do, you could either edge this in granny apple green. I think I'm gonna go with granny apple green because I think it'll kind of bring it together a little bit more. So I'm just gonna edge this with granny apple green, just with my marker. Grab a nice piece of ribbon. You can even do a little two from on the other side. But there is one more idea for you with the triangle dies if you ordered them. I don't have the stamp set. I didn't get any of the stamp sets that go with the triangle dies, ironically. So you don't really need to have necessarily the dies to go along with it. As long as you have the dream and you dare to do something absolutely silly and crazy one more thing before i finish i just want to put i know this is completely i don't want to insult anyone that's polish out there but you know i'm polish and i am polish and blonde and i love being polish but sometimes i do things really i really do things backwards it's just the way it is this i was going to use white ribbon but i think it's going to get lost so where is my really oh this one, I think, might be a ribbon that's sold out, but we'll go with this anyway. This is the, or it's close to sold out, Mossy Meadow. I know it's not exactly the same color, but close enough. Stripe diagonal. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to put these through at the same time like this and do my little loop-de-loop -loop. but how cute is that obviously that's a little bit long but you might need to attach it to your really long thing look at this too think about it this could make see we have just made something else this will make the cutest tie look at that how cute of a tie would that be I know sometimes I think of things it's like way late I mean it's the end of the fourth quarter you're losing by 50 there is nothing left but to do a Hail Mary and look even though this is upside down it's absolutely adorable such a cute card how fun is that I really like it I hope you guys like it too thank you so much if you hung in with me this long because I know sometimes I can be a little bit crazy to follow I even think so myself because I know I'm a little bit crazy but Here's some really cute cards. Great birthday cards, great Christmas cards. Not a big tag person, but I think I might be making some more of these as tags and I probably will actually make them the correct direction. Although quite honestly, the way the hat is, it might almost get in the way. 
So this might have been like a happy accident. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, I thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Um, I am definitely planning on being live on Saturday morning. I'm going to shoot for 930 because that seems to be the better time. And I hope I will see all of you then as well. Remember, Christmas means more. And this stamp set is still available. They definitely have plenty of these. A lot of stuff is sold out. So if there's something you want to get from the Christmas catalog, you probably would be better to get it sooner than later. Um, I know there's lots of embellishments that were selling out really fast. A lot of the paper sold out really fast. So it kind of just depends on what it is that you're looking for. But thank you so much for stopping in and spending some time with me. I truly appreciate it. I enjoyed crafting with you all. And sometimes... That's the best thing to do is just to be able to laugh at yourself and have some fun with friends. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you again really soon. Have a great day.